on the next Dawson's Creek. A milestone event not everyone remembers. You don't have anything to say to me. What's up with you? They, your birthday? Whoopee. Sometimes thoughts are somewhere else. You invaded my privacy. What I'm really curious about is what's Joey Potter really thinking? Everybody in Cape Side has written me off and my best friend in the world looks at me the very same way. I don't think I know you at all. But you never did. An all-new Dawson's Creek next week on the WB Wednesday. Thursday and Up next on the WGN News at 9, a 10-year-old girl was killed riding her bike to school. This morning in Carpentersville, we'll have the latest on the accident and how the entire school is coping with the sudden loss. The city of Chicago officially salutes slamming Sammy Sosa today. Plus, we'll take you behind the scenes of the WB's new supernatural wonder, Charm. The WGN News starts right now. This is Chicago's very... Return to CBS in a powerful new dramatic series. <laughs> you wouldn't be offering my colleague a bribe now, would you? Yeah. In a city filled with secrets, there's one man who has all the answers. I know, and you know, you're guilty as hell. Totally unorthodox. Oh, my. Highly respected. He controls all these. The family is a very precious and fragile thing. And you destroyed it. Where things are done a little differently. And I'm going to take you down. Orlean, CBS, January 8th. Tonight on The Late Show, hop into the fast lane when Dave welcomes guests Nathan Lane, actress Kelly Preston, and Rich Hall. But first, your local news. Tonight on News Channel 8 at 10. A deadly fire in Marion is just the latest in a string this holiday season. Is your home safe? A deadly fire in Marion is just the latest in a string this holiday season. Is your home safe? Spanish television may not be leaving Central Iowa after all. And oh boy, it's time to start working off all of those holiday meals. You said it. Your news starts now. It started with 20 women and one $50 million lie. Now, on the two-hour finale of Joe Millionaire, it comes to an end. Time is up. Who will he choose? I have to tell her that I've been lying this whole time. How will she react to the truth? I did not inherit $50 million. Plus, another shocking twist. Something's going on and somebody's not telling me something. That will blow your mind. Oh, my God. Joe Millionaire, the two-hour finale at 8, 7 Central, Fox Monday. I am sentencing you to community service as a child advocate. This corporate attorney broke the law. What'd you do? Got arrested for drugs. Now, his punishment will be learning the difference between making a buck and making a difference. I thought my dad loved my mom. Why would he hurt her? The Guardian, from your CBS Tuesday, September 25th. Thank you for watching CBS. Please stay tuned for your late local news. Coming up, President Bush tells the military and the nation get ready for war. New video from inside the Pentagon will have the latest on the recovery operation. The moving planes out of a closed Reagan National Airport will go there live and outpouring of patriotism from local volunteers. The news is next. You know, I'm a little claustrophobic and everything, and it's unusually dark in here. Oh, 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 oh. But, that, but you know, I think of it with, with all the rescue people and everything running around, that I'll be, I'll be like a national hero, right? <laughs> like, like baby Jessica? Guys? Guys? Hello? Is anybody out there? Guys? Oh, oh, oh God. Are, are the walls closing in here? Oh, 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 NBC4, the Tri-State News Channel. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Janice Up, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 11. Tonight, South Florida gets a taste of the troubles. WDAY News at 10. Your leader for local news, weather, and sports is coming up right now. Federal investigators try to find answers as to what caused the deadly plane crash in Minas, South Dakota. In my health feed, a medical breakthrough that could make angioplasty a thing of the past. In my crime beat, will law enforcement be ready to give breathalyzer tests when we hit 2,000? This and more next on KX4, your news channel. Straight ahead on 12 and 11, the man who stole millions only to end up in jail speaks out. We'll hear from Philip Johnson tonight. Have you ever wondered how much money your neighbor made? Start in the Portland area, live Doppler 8000 shows us whether the snow will stick around.
Meantime, things are heating up in Washington. One senator is calling for an end to the impeachment trial. From KG The Spy Who Loved Me, Saturday, 8, 7 Central on the ABC Bond Picture Show. Next, why videotapes are being pulled from stores, but are you ready for the new trend in home entertainment? And a look at the strong storms that rolled through earlier and what's next. Coming up, an officer-involved shooting has deputies looking for a gunman in Georgia. Emergency crews say a new cell phone program can help them save your life, and the community reaches out to abuse children. This is NBC 26 News at 11. We'll tell you why they haven't arrested the suspect more than a month after the assault. And Anchorage Fire News. Coming up next on 11 and 11, a three-year-old missing in Amber Alert has been found, but police are still looking for another. Plus, a fire in Walla Walla is out tonight after several volunteer crews were called to the scene. 11 minutes of nonstop news, weather, and sports starts now. Join in. Will Evansville City and Vandenberg County governments merge? Weigh in. Presidential contenders prepare for debate round and now the treatment for leukemia just got a little easier. A withdrawal from this ATM, and a mother throws a birthday party for her daughter's 18-year-old friend with strippers and beer. The news at 11 starts now. Ackroyd and Jim Belushi's Big Man Music. And ooh, Midnight Confessions. Your local news is next. President Bush says he's willing to meet with Middle East leaders if there would be a chance for advancing the peace process. That story and more coming up next on News Center One. Next. Two suburban towns on alert after three children are almost abducted near school. Protests tonight after a firefighter's racial slurs are caught on tape and a special reunion remembers a miracle on ice. Next. Skies for storms, severe weather could hit overnight. A live storm team update straight ahead. Police say this Malda man tried to make a deal for murder. The Taliban could surrender its last hope in the north before the weekend is over. And the United County Eagles battle the Platte County Pirates for the state title. It all starts now at 10. A Tennessean is taking his X-ray vision to the Olympics, and a man is arrested with a gun in a school. How to quit cigarettes without gaining weight, and a happy ending for a lost eight-year-old. Next. Tonight on an all-new Late Show, actress Julianne Moore, plus a 14-year-old sportscaster, and the top 10 signs President Bush is getting cocky. First year local news. This is News 12 Nightside. Voters move ahead with a Tennessee lottery, but some church leaders say their fight is not over. And ambulance rides could be draining your tax dollars. News 12 investigates ambulance abuse. Plus, two of country music's leading ladies. Now, on Eyewitness News 4. The idea has been tossed around. Now a serious push to make Albuquerque's west side its own city. Today, some New Mexico students